Number five website you can't believe you're obsessed with, Groupon and the other Daily Deal sites. Whoa, yeah. How, were, I still use Groupon, you man. You still use Groupon? Oh, in New York, no, I, I use Groupon. I haven't paid full price for a meal in like so long. For a minute, every business was clamoring to get on Groupon. Yes. And then they found it was the world's worst deal for the business. Oh, it's horrible. They get like a quarter of a half of whatever they're charging. Yeah. The customers don't stick. Groupon drove companies out of business because of the coup, because true. people were buying $8,000, $10 coupons to their restaurant. The number four website you can't believe you were obsessed with, Yahoo. I'm rooting for it. They got that new lady in, Marissa Meyer, They, they right? got a new lady. I have a couple friends who work there. There was a point, the end all be all for a website was getting listed on Yahoo. Like if you got, if really? you got, like when, I, when I was in college, I started this just a random website and I got it indexed on Yahoo and I got like, 2,000 hits a day from that. Whoa. And it was like, I made it. Like, I made it by getting included in Yahoo. And then they just tried to do everything. Their homepage was nutty, and right? It, it still it just, is. It's just, they, they're doing so much stuff and they just don't quite do any of it that well. Google's just taking over everything. Yeah, they're mostly except Reader, but everything else is like, yeah, killing I'm gonna right? miss Google Reader. Me though. too, man. Oh. Uh, number three website you can't believe you are obsessed with Ask Jeeves. Oh, <laughs> man. And now it's just Ask. It's just Ask, but I saw an article like, Ask.com still inexplicably does like 20 million unique visitors a month. But it's like the TJ Maxx of search engines, you know? Like it's wildly popular. I don't know anybody who goes there. Yeah, but it's like it's NCIS of search engines. Like yes. number one rated show on TV. But never met a person who watched yeah. in my life. Name the main character. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. know. The number two website you can't believe you're obsessed with, Hotmail. Oh <laughs> man. The, the websites my Hotmail email address has visited. I mean that thing is like, nowadays if someone gives you a Hotmail address, you're like, you passive aggressive so, fine, I won't email you. You just say, <laughs> if it's not a Gmail account, I'm like, no, unless it's like SBC Global and they're like well, nostalgic. The, I, I do something. like SP, people who have the SBC yeah. Global.net. Because they're like old people. Like, like, uh, you know, I saw like a net zero recently. Whoa. And it was like, how do you still You lay have that, that down and it's like some cloud, <laughs> right. you know? And it's like, okay, I get that people still have the AOL, like some people's parents still have the AOL. I but if you it. go out, like, if you give me like a Juno, or no. uh, or or like a defunct yeah. phone company, like a Prime Co. or something. Then then you're I'm done. impressed. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're impressed. I'm impressed. Hotmail, I, I'm done. Prime Co. Yeah. They asked for my phone number, and that's when I left them. You know what I mean? Because I was like, I'll let you like get all my spam, but I won't give any personal right. details. And the number one website you can't believe you were obsessed with. It's an obvious number one. MySpace.com. Woo! I. <laughs> It's my favorite of the all of them, and here's why. Because we had no knowledge of how not to screw up. You know what I mean? It was like, oh yeah, I'll let that like stripper as my friend. Oh, my first girlfriend. Oh, I'm posting pics I shouldn't. It was like my whole like, you made mistakes. It was what no it's supposed to do. No web savvy to speak of no. from any of us. I put like, smiley faces on things. I'm a grown man. I was like, happy day. <laughs> like, I didn't even know what was going I got on. To, I, got to, I got to a legitimate argument with someone because I was in their top eight, and mm -hmm. I did not immediately reciprocate a top eight spot. Oh, yeah. The top eight was like the biggest friendship barometer that's ever existed True. in world history. To date, like, it's still. To, right. The uh, wave uh, is coming where we're just waiting to like leave ship for something else. Right. You know what uh, I mean? Yes. And it's not going to be Google+. Plus. Right. <laughs> well, that's it for our website you're obsessed with list. Thanks to Jared Gray, everyone. Jared. Please take a moment to subscribe to our 11 Points YouTube channel. You can see the full results of this list at 11points.com, where top 10 lists are for cowards. Thank you, Jared. <laughs> Chat Roulette is the one website you specifically go, oh, there's going to be a dick yeah, you're like, like, We're just <laughs> counting down to dick. Okay, it's like, I guarantee I'm going to see a dick within two seconds of 